Hey, what up all my tooth doctors and doctresses? Welcome to another video at the Tooth Factory. Today, I just want to quickly discuss with you guys the update that the McGill University and Faculty of Dentistry has provided. Uh, you no longer need an AFK exam to pass and take an admission into the International Dental Program. So without much ado, let's take a look at that uh, update. All right, everyone, welcome to McGill's Faculty of Dentistry's website. The reason why we're here is because there is an important update in the selection process at McGill University. What they've done is that for future admissions uh, cycles right here, the advanced dental admissions test will be required to apply for the DMD advanced standing for foreign trained dentist pathway. Why is this important? Is because the NDEB AFK will not be considered anymore now see i i, I don't mean to be uh you know derogatory in my conversations but if in case unfortunately someone's taken the afk for three times and they haven't uh, been able to make it uh, through the ndb process here is your chance you are able to take this test right here which is the adat test and apply to the McKill University for uh, an admission. The ADAT test is a four and a half hour long test that is available um, at Pearson View test centers in US and Canada. It's available on these dates, which is March 1st to August 31st range. There's multiple exams. Yes, it is a part of the uh, American Dental Association. So whoever, you know, takes the NBDE of uh, the USA, they can uh, also apply for this because you need the ECE uh, qualification for it. So I've said a lot. Let's see how uh, we can apply to take the ADAT exam. Uh, so ADAT exam, uh, remember uh, that it has to do with the American Dental Association, which means uh, that with the completion of the advanced dental admissions test, uh, it's, it's designed so that uh, you can take the third and the fourth year dental students for practicing dentists interested in postgraduate training in dental specialty areas and international dental students applying to advanced dental education programs or advanced standing in pre-doctoral program. All of these guys are able to take the ADAT. So, uh, sorry, back to the application area. It says read the official uh, ADAT guide before completing the application. So let's take a look at the guide, see what this exam is about. Let's open up the 2021 ADAT guide. So it's freshly updated. What we're interested in is the eligibility requirements. You know, what well, we know now that once we clear this exam and we get our scores, we can take the admission uh, application at McGill University. So let's make our way down to the eligibility first, because that's the most important one. Then we'll take a look at the other side of this uh, guide. So the eligibility requirement is here. The ADAT program uh, to part to participate, uh, you must qualify through one of the following provisions. Okay, fair enough. So it says dental student in uh, CODA or CDAC, which is accreditation. We're not accredited. That's all right. We look over here. The dental students in a non-accredited dental school. Now, you could be a student in internship, or you could already be a graduated dentist, right? But we're both going to look at uh, where it says dentist graduated from or dental students in non accredited programs. Right. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit where it says a dentist graduate of non accredited dental program. It says the following provisions are required for verification of educational credentials obtained from non accredited dental schools. They have to have it done by educational credentials evaluators in other words ece so you know how for the canadian uh, exam we have to take the documents and you know the school transcripts and get it verified by the ndeb well for any american applications we have to get it done by ece then 
that's step one, right? ECE is step one. Now, if a candidate does not have a dent pin, they must register through dent pin prior to submitting an ECE report. So now we're getting a more clarity here that first we need dent pin. I know we're working backwards, but stay with me. Step one, we need dent pin. Step two, we need ECE report. Step three, the ADAT application. Okay, three steps. Now, ECE, it prepares evaluation reports that identify US equivalents of educational qualifications. And this is where you will send your documents, your transcripts. Okay. ECE is going to allow you to take uh, equivalency in American uh, programs, and then you can take the ADAT test. When you take the ADAT test, then you can apply at McGill University. So let's see uh, what this ADAT has to offer us. ADAS practice test. So here's the ADAT practice test. Let's take a look at the first question. See, now these are case-based questions. It says, you know, patient male 45, chief complaint, my teeth wiggle and feel loose. The background and or patient history. Recently lost his job, which means they are stressed and has been drinking heavily, again, stress for the last three months, and currently homeless, which means no lack of, uh, or sorry, lack of uh, dental resourcefulness. And current findings are uh, loose teeth, and prolonged gingival bleeding. Now, why is this important? Well, because this allows you to answer the following question. Based on the patient's history and prolonged gingival bleeding, the function of which organ is compromised? Well, obviously, he's 45 years old, uh, the teeth are loose, and he has been drinking heavily. Prolonged gingival bleeding. We know two things for sure. Drinking has to do with liver and gingival bleeding has to do with coagulation proteins that are made in the liver. So the item, item one has B as an answer, right? Okay, so let's go and take a look at um, the answer key down here all the way at the end. I'm just going through a uh, sample question with you guys uh, to... Uh, let you guys know how ADAT will look. Answer for item one was B and B was liver. So you can take this practice test. Uh, let yourself know how close you are to being prepared for the ADAT test. And that way you can be uh, sure to apply at the McGill University. So let's say you went through ADAT, okay? You finished, you did the dent pin, you did the ECE, you did the ADAT. Then what you need is selection of applicants in the process right here, based on ADAT results. So you took the exam and you got a very, very nice score. Then you're gonna submit your CV right here. It's important that you submit your CV and CASPER test. Casper test. What is that? We'll take a look at it. And it says interviews. So being selected for an interview, a preliminary assessment will determine the candidates that are invited for the interview. Preliminary assessment will take you to the interview, which means the preliminary assessment is based on academic performance on ADAT. 70% 70 70 of your selection is based on academic performance and the ADAT test. Non-academic aspect includes two things, CASPER test and curriculum vitae. CASPER test is basically this online test uh, that you can take, uh, that can, you know, they can find out what your judgments are and so on. It's very simple, it's nothing, nothing different. Curriculum vitae is your, your CV. Then comes, so interviews are done using a format called the virtual multiple mini interviews. This is it. These interviews consist of multiple stations that can be task oriented, simulation or scenario or discussion oriented. And they can give you 100% of your eligibility into the admission. Once you have reached the MMIs, that's it. 
that's what decides your admission okay so uh, take a look at this the application category graduates of non-accredited dental programs usually there's about 114 people that apply at a year and the average afk score was 88 for applications for people who are stationed at interviews only 14 were selected and the average score for afk was 96 but fortunately or unfortunately the afk will not be used in future cycles and even after that, only three were admitted. Yes, I know the ratio is extremely hard to get through, but this update had come from the McGill side. So wanted to just discuss it with you guys. I hope this some way helps you. And for all my American uh, viewers, uh, this is your way into uh, the Canadian uh, dental program as well. If you're looking into it, uh, please visit the McGill.ca uh, website and international degree completion for uh, international dentists as well. Okay. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for these updates. If you like our videos, please like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon and please let us know what more content you guys want.